So it's been about six months since I started to use the BioGravel variant of the Bio Home Filter Media and I wanted to share my personal experiences with this little review. I know that products like Bio Home are controversial and both sides of the argument are passionate but I'm just going to share my personal experiences in the hope of helping anyone considering getting this filter media for their own tanks. For anyone short on time, all of the tanks I used BioGravel in did manage to maintain a consistently low nitrate level but they are also heavily planted tanks so it's difficult to know how much of this is due to the bio gravel and how much of this is due to the plants. Anyway getting on with the review and bio gravel is the smallest type of filter media from the bio home range making it a great option for smaller filters on smaller aquariums. Just like regular bio home it is made from sintered glass rather than plastic rock or ceramics technically increasing the amount of surface area offered by the media. The main selling point of bio home is that it offers an external surface area just like regular filter media but it also offers an internal surface area with limited oxygen supply too. In theory this can allow you to grow both nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria colonies on the same media to help keep your ammonia and nitrite at zero and your nitrates low keeping your aquarium safe and stable. This means that BioGravel is more of a competitor to something like Seachem Matrix rather than regular types of filter media on the market. Now to try and show things from both sides of the argument I want to touch on a common point from the pro bio home crowd when people say that they've got this media and it's not working for them. Unlike the bacteria colonies that deal with ammonia and nitrite in your aquarium that can develop in around one month, the bacteria colonies needed to process nitrate usually require a minimum of three months to develop and that is in optimal conditions. This means that you shouldn't be expecting bio gravel to be a quick and easy fix for any nitrate problems your aquarium is having and it will take months for the relevant types of bacteria to form. I have seen a few people on social media say they've been using this media a couple of weeks and it's doing nothing, they simply haven't used it long enough. On the flip side of that though, the anti-bio home crowd often point out that there's no scientific research available to confirm that the media is even capable of supporting the bacteria required to process nitrate in an aquarium. Now bio home does seem to be a relatively small operation but see can make Matrix uses the same principles with a slightly different type of media and you'd think that Seachem would have the funding behind them to get some independent research completed to prove that their product works. I have had a look for both Seachem Matrix and the Bio Home range and I honestly can't find anything that's been done to prove that this can happen and in fact the only scientific research I could find on any type of filter media for aquariums is on nylon pot scrubbers and I literally mean the pot scrubbers that you use to do your washing up because of apparently they can work well for processing ammonia and nitrite in your aquarium and I do know one person who does this. Now I'm not a scientist, I'm far from it, but I did find this bit of research from the Canadian Department of Environmental Biology when digging around for studies on BioHome and Seachem Matrix. The research studied Pseudomonas mandelii, a type of bacteria that is known to be able to process nitrate in water and they found that the optimal pH range for denitrification was between 7.0 and 7.5. Now this research wasn't specific to aquarium use and there's several different types of denitrifying bacteria out there but personally I would expect that they'd all have their optimal pH ranges where their effectiveness is at a peak so your aquarium might not even meet the pH requirements for this type of bacteria to work so that's something to factor in. Anyway getting on to my personal experiences with bio gravel and I've always used it in an all pond solutions HOB hang on back canister filter. The filter filter is set up in the exact same way that Pond Guru sets it up in his video that I link in this video's description with the top half tray and one full tray being full of foam for mechanical filtration and the rest being packed with bio gravel for biological filtration. I do think it's important to point out that to my knowledge Pond Guru either owns or has some type of stake in bio home or bio gravel but it's not like it's a secret he mentions it plenty of times on his own YouTube channel and he's very open about it. Anyway I start to use the bio gravel in my filter on my old 29 gallon scape that was consistently getting between 10 and 20 ppm nitrate between water changes but this was totally normal and safe for this particular tank. As I mentioned earlier the bacteria required to process nitrate usually needs at least three months to start forming on the filter media and over time I did notice that the nitrate levels in the aquarium did start to go down. After a couple of months the nitrate levels were rarely even shown on my test kit 
creating the water parameters were consistently safe and stable. Unfortunately, during this time, that particular tank also suffered from an infestation of duckweed that absolutely dominated the surface. For anyone who is unfamiliar with duckweed, it has an extremely fast growth rate and it uses up huge amounts of the excess nutrients in your aquarium water to grow and this does include nitrates. Unfortunately, as I mentioned back at the start of the video, this does make it impossible to know if the drastic reduction in nitrates in this aquarium were down to the bio gravel or the duckweed. Due to initially purchasing so much bio gravel, I had plenty left over to fill up two more all pond solutions HLB 500s in the exact same way. One of them went onto my 12 gallon guppy tank that is over seven months old now and has never had any issues with its water parameters. By that, I mean it's ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate are all consistently zero ppm, and I check this tank's water parameters once per week. As you can see, there are a ton of live plants in this aquarium though, and it has a decent amount of fast grown stem plants in the back of the tank, and it also has salvinia floating on the surface. So unfortunately, again, this makes it difficult to know if the lack of nitrate in the aquarium is due to the bio gravel or the live plants in the tank. One thing that I would mention is that with this particular tank, I consistently had good water parameters with zero ppm nitrate from its initial cycle completing, making me lean more towards this being due to live plants. This is because it pretty much happened instantly as soon as the cycle completed, so it's not as if there was some ramp up time for this denitrifying bacteria to grow on the filter media. I did the same thing with my old 40 gallon guppy tank too, and I used an all pond solutions HOB 500 with bio gravel in it as the primary filtration, but again, the tank had a ton of fast grown stem plants and floating plants in it. Although it's not specific to bio gravel, I have seen a few people on social media and forums share photographs of their own heavily planted tanks as an example that Seachem Matrix is able to process nitrates, not factoring in that plants consume nitrates as well. So there are a lot of variables that you have to factor in with this kind of thing, and that's why I do think independent research, or at least scientific grade research, would be beneficial for these two brands. Now moving on to the maintenance of bio gravel, and in all honesty, it has been pretty easy to maintain. Regardless of your filter media, the amount of maintenance and type of maintenance it requires will usually depend more on what's actually going on in your aquarium. For example, my 12 gallon guppy tank has minimal issues and this filter can easily go two months without being cleaned and it just won't clog up. On the flip side of that though, my old 29 gallon tank had a huge piece of mangrove wood in it that would constantly break down and release tiny little wood particles into the water column that would clog my filter. So the exact same filter with the exact same media set up in the 29 gallon tank needed cleaning twice per week rather than once per two months. Now there are multiple ways to do this but usually I just strip my filter down and dip the trays of bio gravel into some old tank water during a water change. I lift each tray in and out of the water a couple of times to remove any debris and then I move on to the next one until all of the trays have been washed. Now I'm not sure if this is true but I have seen people say that this lets too much air get at your filter media and it can cause problems with the bacteria colonies that can process nitrate because they need a very specific amount of oxygen but on the flip side of that the filter media will eventually end up getting clogged. It might take many many months depending on your setup but it will need cleaning so this could be a drawback of this type of filter media. So moving on to the price of bio home and bio gravel as it is more expensive than other types of media out there but it is usually priced at a similar rate to its main competitor Seachem Matrix. This is the recommended stocking guide for the media for various popular tank setups to try and keep your nitrate levels as low as possible. Just because they're so common and popular I'm going to use a community tank as an example. So the official recommendation is one kilogram of bio home or bio gravel per 100 litres of water or 2.2 pounds per 26.42 US gallons. This means that depending if you went with bio home or bio gravel a pretty standard 100 litre aquarium would cost between £13.99 or £17.99 that converts to around $17.43 and $22.41. Now I know that this may not sound like much but you can also get some 30 ppi foam from Pond Guru's website for around £5 or $6.22 and you're going to have plenty of this foam left over for any other filters and other aquariums you may keep. 
Now I know that there's no claims for 30 ppi foam being able to process nitrate in your aquarium but most people will be able to easily get some cheap fast grown stem plants or floating plants to help deal with that or just use regular water changes. It's not like there's a need to buy a lot of plants either, something like salvinia will easily self propagate on the surface of your tank without you doing anything. Fast grown stem plants are also very easy to propagate and you simply trim the excess growth from the top of the plant and then replant it in your soil substrate to quickly fill out the tank. As I mentioned I have no idea if biohome or biogravel was actually helping to reduce the nitrates in my aquariums due to the tank being so heavily planted but for this next part let's just presume that it definitely can. This media could have a very valid use case for people who keep fish that like to eat plants in their aquariums such as certain types of cichlid and goldfish. In theory this could reduce the number of water changes that you need to make in a large African cichlid tank helping to control all the nitrate buildup in the aquarium. On the flip side of that though I have seen a bunch of channels on YouTube who keep cichlids use a sump that has various types of plants in it to manage the nitrates that way. With the live plants being kept in the sump rather than the main aquarium they still get the same water flow that goes through the aquarium with the fish but the fish aren't able to get access to the live plants to eat them. Both Caveman Aquatics and Katie Cichlids are two channels that use similar systems to this if you want to check them out. I just want to quickly touch on water changes too. The YouTube algorithm was going absolutely crazy with zero water change tank setups in late 2023 and early 2024 and like a lot of other people I got caught up in the craze and that's actually the reason I decided to give Biogravel a try. After zooming out though, removal of nitrates aren't the only purpose of water changes and it is important to remember that. Water changes also give you a chance to target remove debris in your tank that your filter may not be able to pick up. They also let you remove any excess phosphates in your tank's water column that may cause algae. On top of that, fresh water that you add to the tank also helps to replenish some trace minerals that can be used up by your fish, plants and invert with some of these being essential. And on a personal note, I work on my computer, I do my shopping on a computer, I socialise a lot on a computer and I watch TV on a computer these days so doing water changes and tank maintenance are a welcome break for me away from my computer. Then you have to factor in that nitrates can actually be an important food source in planted tanks that are needed to keep thriving aquarium plants. So yeah, although I have been able to easily hold the cycle on my tanks that use biogravel with minimal issues, in the future I really don't think I'll buy any more of this. I'm a big fan of the Wallstad method that uses plants for natural filtration and I've never had any issues with nitrates in those tanks. On top of that, this particular better fish tank uses a tiny little sponge filter and doesn't have any biogravel in it at all and just has some slow grown stem plants and salvinia floating on its surface and this has never had any problems with nitrates either. I also have a few friends who also keep heavily planted tanks and they only use foam, lava rock or pot scrubbers as their filter media for some biological filtration and again they've never had any issues with their nitrate levels either. So personally I plan to just keep using live plants in my aquariums moving forward and I'm pretty confident that my nitrate levels will be kept in check without issue. If I do need any filter media in the future then to be honest I probably will just go with 30 ppi foam or some type of sponge filter because that can easily deal with ammonia and nitrites and then live plants will be able to deal with any leftover nitrates. If you do want to give biohome or biogravel a try feel free and I honestly do hope that it works out well for you just remember that the bacteria required to process nitrate does take considerably longer to grow than the regular bacteria colonies so expect to wait three to six months and give it time to grow. Anyway guys that brings the video to a close. Thanks for watching and have a good day.